Welcome to our Wednesday devotion. I'm Pastor Tim Gerbing from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Aaron and Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. Let's listen today to profound words that were written for us by the Apostle Paul in his second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 21. Paul wrote, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Do you recognize how beautiful these words of the Apostle Paul really are? With these few words, Paul takes away from us any reason to ever be dragged down and anxious and depressed about our sins again, no matter how many we've committed or how shameful they may be. Whenever we have doubts about whether God still loves us, still cares for us, is still willing to lead us through our death into our heavenly home, remember these words. Any person, no matter their age, their social status, their accomplishments or lack of them, no matter their abilities or lack of them, if that person is, as Paul says, in Christ, that person is complete. That person is as perfect as if they had never sinned at all. Because through faith, Christ's righteousness covers us. A righteousness and a holiness that is far greater than the righteousness of the most holy human being who has ever lived. Whenever memories of past sin haunt us, Whenever our repeated failures to escape our sinful nature's control frustrate us, whenever our conscience fills our heart with sorrow because of the pains others have suffered because of us, none of our sins can condemn us. We who have learned to hate sin have also learned this great and marvelous truth that because of Jesus Christ, our sins no longer belong to us. Jesus took ownership of our sins, every one of them. So when Satan accuses us, we can rightly respond, Satan, you're talking to the wrong person. I don't own my sins anymore. Those failures are no longer my failures. You need to bring your complaint to Jesus. And Satan won't get far because the Holy One took our sins. He paid for them all on his cross. He was raised from the dead, leaving our sins forever behind. And he now sits at his Father's right hand and lives in glory to intercede for us on our behalf. So since you are now found in Jesus, in the Holy One who loves us, know this. That God's acceptance is not found in us, but in Jesus, in the one who made us his own. Amen.